In this tutorial, we will go a little bit more in depth into some of these initial elements that you see on the GNOME desktop. We'll start by taking a look at the menus in the upper left hand corner. There are three menus that are available by left clicking on the words Applications, Places, and System. Now each of these menus has certain submenus that are indicated by the little arrows to the right hand side of the menu. For example, Accessories opens up a side menu with several different applications that are available. Calculator, Dictionary, Terminal, and Text Editor, for example. Games opens up a side menu with, with a dozen or so different games. Graphics has a photo manager, an image editor, image viewer, and a scanner program. The Internet submenu has software for the Evolution email client, Firefox web browser, and the game Instant Messenger client. Office has shortcuts to the Evolution email client again, as well as several different parts of the OpenOffice.org productivity suite, including the database, presentation, spreadsheet, and word processor. The sound and video submenu has shortcuts to a movie player, a music player, and various other CD and recording software. Lastly, under applications is a shortcut to an application that will allow one to add and remove software. The places menu has simply shortcuts to various locations in the file system or on the network, such as a home folder, to the desktop itself, to the computer, which would be the equivalent of my computer in Windows, to a built-in CD and DVD burning program, and various ways to browse the network and search for files. Under the system menu, there are two submenus that are important. One is for preferences that allows one to make several different changes as to the preferences of the graphical user interface itself, and the administration submenu, which contains various configuration tools to help one administer the system. There's also the help documentation system and several other icons about GNOME, Ubuntu, as well as an icon to quit out of Ubuntu Linux. Launching an application that's in the panel, such as the Firefox web browser, simply requires clicking on the icon. The icon will change to a little circular image rotating around showing that the program is loading. And the taskbar at the very bottom of the screen has a box showing each application that is currently open. As you will see, the uh, Firefox loads up and assuming one is connected to the internet, the Ubuntu Linux should have found that internet connection and enabled it. Certain applications when launched will create notification areas, notification icons in this, in the notification area in the upper right hand corner. These are for applications that can run minimized in the background. One example is the Game Instant Messenger client. When connected, after inserting and adding one's account information, this icon in the upper right hand corner will remain even when the application is closed. It's a very easy way to monitor the application and and see changes to the application as it runs. Finally, it's very easy to create additional shortcuts in the panel by simply right-clicking on the panel and go to Add to Panel. There are various accessories and applets that are available, such as a weather applet, can be added, or an application from the menu. Clicking on Application Launcher will bring up the items in the menus that can then be expanded and applications can be selected. Some of the applets and things have preferences. By right-clicking on the icon and going to Preferences, 
one can change the settings for some of these applications and applets. One can click on North America, for example, and see an expanded list and search this way, or one can type in a, a name of a city. And you can see that the weather is in Celsius. And going back to preferences, various settings can be changed. That is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.